Dragonstack Ball Zine. Um, I'm gonna do a declutter today. So yeah, I think we're gonna move filming kind of in my main living room kind of area because I don't know, I kind of like it in here. It's kind of where I spend all my time, anyways. And I got a smaller ring light so it doesn't blow out my glasses as much. So that should help. And hopefully, when quarantine sound, I can get contacts so I can get back to filming videos. Right now, I cannot. But I'm starting to use my webcam, which with the ring light, actually the quality looks pretty good. So maybe I will start using this for videos and we could do some B stuff, even though I can't see, but you guys would be able to see. And this has a follow face, so it would actually be able to tell. The zoom in just has to be like manual zoom in. It's not like a my DSLR camera, which stops recording middle mid screen, though I do have monitor now, I can watch it on I don't know. We're gonna declare pilots because uh, your girl got a little, let's just say, online shopping thing. And my my no buy, which I was doing really good on, is kind of gone out the window, to be quite honest. And now we have quite a few pallets that are going to be coming in. And I have no room for them. And there's a bunch that I don't use, so... I'm going to force myself to stop collecting certain brands and just get rid of shit that I'm not using to bring in the new shit that probably I also won't use, to be quite honest. But, yeah. So, let me bring you over to where the makeup is and we'll declutter some of my shadow palettes. Alright, I have you guys on the kind of top section of my eyeshadow palettes and I'll go row by row kind of going down. It's kind of by brand. So we have Tati Beauty, Not Moving Anywhere, Irma Decay's are staying. Uh, this is Dot Mini Cosmetics, Alma Beauty, Kaleidoscope, Juvia's Place, Nabla, Tarte, NYX. And then we'll go on from there. But we're going to start up here. So I could pull every single palette out of the kind of bookshelf. I'm just going to grab ones that I kind of know I'm not going to ever use. So the first one, kind of pains me, is going to be the Rustic Glam from Dominique Cosmetics. It's a gorgeous palette, don't get me wrong. I do did really enjoy this. It's just, I don't read for this palette. Like, this shade bothered me. Like, I, I just couldn't get that one to work with me. This one I have a bunch in my collection. I'm not a huge fan of mattes with glitters. And just, again, a lot of these I have in my collection. So, I'm going to declutter this. You know, it's gorgeous. I did love it. It's just something I'm not going to use. And I need to stop just collecting makeup because I like the palette looks cute. <laughs> It's just not something we're going to use, so I should just not have it. <laughs> um, I need to open this one up. I need, I need to think. This is also from Dominique's Cosmetics. It's the Celestial Storm. They're keeping that. I like that a lot. The color story is very what I like. I like the duochromes here. Disgusting. You know, this is kind of like that matte glitter shade that I didn't like here. It's just purple instead of blue. I do really like it, and it does go with the palette very well, so I'm keeping it. Um, this is a lemonade palette. I'm going to keep this because that is great for in the summer. All right, next, Alma Beauty. We're going to look at it. Uh, love it. Great. Beautiful. There's one in here. I just don't know what it is because I got to go through them all. Uh, this one is great for 4th of July, so I like keeping this one around. I'm sorry this goes out of frame. Uh, the monitor's over there, and I'm seeing on the floor, so I can't see shit. <laughs> uh, this is the one that I think I'm going to declutter. I love Oma Beauty. It's great. It's great. But I don't reach for this palette at all. Ooh, but that gold is just stunning. Maybe I'll... Mm. This gold is so stunning. 
I should not keep a palette just for one shade when all the other shades I have in my collection. So, I'm going to declutter this palette. I need to, I need to, I need to go down this. I just got this palette, which is the Festival palette, which I do like, so I'm going to keep this one. Um, I'm not getting rid of any of the Kaleidoscope ones. I love those guys a lot, so those are fine where they are. Nabla is not going anywhere. Uh, Tarte, I'm actually going to get rid of the Toasted palette. I have not touched this since I got it. And while I love the Tartlet in Bloom, I don't touch the Toasted palette. There's no point in pulling onto it when I don't use it. Even if it's very pretty, very stunning, I don't use this. It needs to go. This is like painful. <laughs> I'm just looking at your face. I'm like, I love you. You're a great formula. I don't touch all of these palettes. So I'm going to go through them each. Tribe, gorgeous, beautiful, stunning. Love the greens. Not leaving. This is going to be a problem. This is literally going to be my favorite tribe. These are such unique shades. I just can't part with this palette. And this is the Magic Mini. Uh, Masquerade. Again, good mixture between the colors and the neutrals. I will get rid of something. I will. I, I, I can't keep all of these. Nubian 2 is one of my favorites. This is going to be a problem. I already know Zulu is a no on the changing. Uh, the original novel palette. Or not novel, Nubian. The original Nubian palette is a neutral palette. I have a lot of neutral palettes. And this was the original formula, which means this is not vegan. Which is a different formula than they have for all the rest of them. I don't specifically shop for vegan eyeshadows, but it is something I like to note. And yeah, I just have this palette, so I'm going to part ways with the Nubian. A freak. I'm actually going to part ways with this one. This shadow I have in the Festival palette, and these are kind of just general colors I kind of already have, so I'm going to pass part ways with that. Nubian Coral, love it. Grays, which I don't have a lot of in my collection, I realize. So that guy can stay. The Saharan, I love this one. It's great. I can keep it. I do use it. Well, the palettes don't look like I've used them a bunch. I kind of jump back and forth between palettes. This one I'm keeping. Like, I'll use this one one day, then I'll use this one the next day, this one the next day. Like, that way it doesn't, like, I use everything, but I don't like keeping, I, I don't, like, overdo it. Okay, Dolce. It's a good pastel palette, but I don't wear this at all. And this green is, I think, also in the Festival palette. Or have it somewhere else. So I'm going to pass, pass away with this guy. That pass away, just pass on that guy. Warrior 2 is good matte neutrals. Love it. Keeping the original Warrior palette, not going anywhere. There's my neutrals. Love that, that palette a lot. Uh, Warrior 3 is newer in my collection. I have not used it a bunch. And just to the fact that I don't, I don't think I even touched it. I have not even touched this palette. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Uh, the Nomad. What's this guy look like again? Oh, yes, my grunge. No, we're not passing up on my grunge. Noblas are staying. I'm not touching those. Tart is staying. And then I already know I'm not passing up my mix palettes. So those are all good there. We got a good chunk up here now, which I think I would grab from the bottom row and bring something up here for now. Let me get you guys focused on this one. The, the next. We're on to the problem child, which is ColourPop. This is all ColourPop. And it's not the only ColourPop. We also have all of this. This is all the ColourPop. 
my sister almost constantly gets me every palette that comes out from ColourPop. I love the girl. She's my best friend. But, um, she doesn't help me with trying not to cl collect all of ColourPop. And I know she has purchased for me quite a few more ColourPops to come in. One being Mulan. I think there's a mauve palette. The two new celestial ones. We got a lot. And I already decluttered a bunch of these recently. I got rid of pretty much anything that had like more than one pressed glitter in it. That was like a nine pan. If it like I didn't touch it in this, I got rid of it as well. But we're gonna go through them all. I'm gonna set these on the floor just right now, just so that way it's kind of organized. A lot of these are limited edition and aren't around anymore, but I do not wear all of these. There's a lot I don't reach for, and I need to stop collecting, as I've said too many times this video already, but. We're gonna go through it. Um, I'm gonna start with what actually is on the ground. Um, Blush Crush is very cute, very cute pink. I'm just gonna keep this one open for a moment because I want to compare it to a different palette down the line. Uh, that in comparison as well with this guy, which is New Moon. Very cute, but actually I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, I think that's this one, which is the Bare Necessities. I was not gonna get this palette at all, and then I got it. Um, this is like the travel size version of this guy, but none of the shades are identical. I mean, they're very, very, very similar, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but, this is like the mini travel version of that one. I really like both though, and this would be like good travel versus this is like at home type of thing. Both. Um, this guy wasn't actually in that palette, which I'm actually kind of glad about. Next, I want to just take a look at these two palettes in comparison to Bare Necessities. They are the Fame and Fortune palettes. So this is the Fortune, and this is the Fame. Fortune, I can already tell, is very different. So I put that back on the shelf. But Fame. is very similar, but this is purely cool tone, and this I feel like is more neutral neutrals. I I feel kind of bad doing that, but I love neutrals. As much as I say like I don't, I really like neutrals. Uh, next we have the Frozen palettes. So we have Elsa here, and then we have Anna. As much as I like these and the color scheme and the packaging, I'm kind of just more holding on to the fact that they're, they're, I have used these a bunch, and they're really pretty to play with. <sighs> Let me keep them. <laughs> uh, these guys I normally keep, This that's the strawberry and the going coconuts, I really like those. The Baby Got Peach one, I'm actually going to get declutter, because I have that one, that one, well, I got rid of all my glitters, but I have that, 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 I have a bunch of these in singles already, so I'm going to get rid of Baby Got Peach. Lilac you a lot, like, as much as I like the palette, don't get me wrong, I do like it, but the problem is I realize I have them all, which is why I'm decluttering this. Lilac you a lot. Um, gorgeous, stunning, great, really light purples. As much as I thought I was going to hate purples, I actually really like playing with them, so I'm going to keep this. Uh, mint to be greens. I, I love me some greens, especially these kind of dirty greens here. Mmm, with either this one or th these guys. This liquid. Yes, love it. Okay, so I only got rid of one from that set, but we still got a lot here. Um, Night Owl is great. I do really, really like it. However, this looks very similar to the Warrior palette, so I'm going to declutter it. Uh, Birds of Paradise is a very fun, nice, bright, kind of orangey toned neutrals, and I don't have a lot of these shades. Yeah. 
I, I do. But not like these ones. So let me keep that. Um, n just my luck is not going anywhere. Uh, neither is It's My Pleasure. I actually really like playing with this palette. It's not your typical purple palette. So that's staying. Um, uh huh, honey. I love this palette. I just avoid the middle shade, which I'm really fine with doing. Um, the Mar palette. I use this constantly in the summer, so I'm not parting ways with it. Uh, proceed with caution. I am going to be parting ways with. I don't use it at all. Uh, smoke show. I'm gonna keep. It's my only black palette. It's like my only true, really smoky palette. So that's staying. Um, main squeeze are some good reds, like true reds that got like some depth in it. So I'm gonna keep that. I say true reds because I also have Blood Sugar by Jeffree Star, which we'll get to, but that's not a fact palette. I mean it is, but it's a very different type of red. That we're keeping. Orangey Vlad is my pure, pure orange palette. Like, so just to compare the birds of a prize with it, they're very complementary to each other and I like using them together. So that's why I'm gonna keep both of those. Uh, brown sugar, we're going to part ways with. Uh, so that just fell over. Soul, as much as I do like this palette, I feel like I have it in the other nine pans, so I'm going to part ways with that one. And then Ooh La La, which was the first, I think, nine pan after Soul and Mar is great. It's a good pink palette. So let me keep it. I'm going to put these guys back up on the shelf. And I think if I did this right, I should be able to put some of these guys up here now. Actually, I think I'm going to no, I did that last time and I hated that because I was constantly knocking over. I was going to put them like this on top, which doesn't work. Um, I might do these ones just like that on top, where the writing is like that. Because they're really easy just to take out real quick and I can go behind and grab these guys still. Alright, so next up, the 12 pans. I'm only going to pull out ones that I'm not sure about and that are not new. So these guys are all here new. Actually, I need to open them up. I'm going to get rid of Birds of a Feather. Oh, bye bye Birdie. Bye bye Birdie. It's cute. It's fun. I've never used it. And I don't see myself using it. Uh, Flutterby. Good cool tone palette really cute but I feel like with all the other ColourPop ones I don't need this one so I'm gonna pass up on this I feel bad but a lot of these I didn't buy so I don't feel too too bad um this one's the give me butterfly and it's pretty as it is it's got two pressed glitters which I absolutely hate and I can only see myself using two of the shadows or a few of the shadows in this palette so I'm going to pass away with this one I need something pass away I'm going to pass up the uh, that one uh, a flutter I'm also going to pass on there, again two pressed glitters I hate the pressed glitters from Colourpop they just end up migrating into your eye and it hurts and I feel like I have a bunch of these shades in other palettes uh, butter me up. This one, again, I'm just, I'm not feeling the butterflies. Like I was initially, and now I'm like, get rid of them all. <laughs> I feel so bad. My sister bought them for me. Your kitty, I'm gonna keep. I really do like this one. It's got the super shock in here. It doesn't have the glitter. 
and it's got a good thing, and I like this dual chrome a lot. It reminds me of my favorite one, Glass Bowl, which I have an individ individual thing, and I do use my individual shadows quite a bit. Oh my gosh, it's actually falling over. I might be able to set these guys sideways. Hold on, let me do it. Let me do that. <laughs> ah, there's room! There hasn't been room on this thing forever. This guy, uh, cute, do like it, but again, I got a lot of repeats of it. And I just don't use this one. I don't reach for it, so I'm going to pass it up. Uh, this guy is double entendre. Good neutrals, but I have a lot of neutrals, so I'm going to pass up or pass that one on. Um, I, I was, I've never been into My Little Bunny. I never have. So I did not buy this for the packaging. I got it for the shades. And honestly, I have not touched this in I think two and a half years. So I'm going to pass part ways with that one. We're keeping that. Uh, Good as gold is a near palette that I got. It's got some glitters in it, of course. There's like three glitters now that I realize it. Which is kind of annoying. Well, is this a glitter? No, that's that's a weird that's a different type of glitter. I haven't used this one. My sister just got it for me. I'm going to play around with it a few times just to see what I think of it. But this is this might be on a chopping block. Okay, right there. Uh, truly, madly, deeply. I do not reach for this anymore. I don't reach for this at all. I like Mr. Sandman, but I feel like I got him in other things. And he's got three pressed glitters. I'm going to part ways with him. And then lastly, we have It's All Good. I purchased this. Again, another one of those dual chrome purples, so I really don't feel bad about passing that away. Um, it's got a good variety. I like this one a lot. It does have two glitters, one more kind of thin, which is kind of fine on the eyes, and then another big chunky one, which I don't use on the eyes at all because of that fact. But overall, it's a really good palette. Problem is, I don't know if. Jack, the Jaclyn Hill 2 palette. I got it. My sister got it for me. It was before. And then I ordered this guy. And they're very similar. Just being honest. They are very similar. But I'm going to keep both of these. Because they're new. And I like them both in different respects. Granted, this is not vegan. And Morphe. I don't know what to say about that. I just, I like that palette, so I'm going to keep it. So, yeah. So, we're doing pretty good. We had a good chunk here in the ColourPop seam that is empty now. And I got a good chunk up top as well. Granted, I know I have probably four palettes coming from ColourPop, so this, this shelf will be full again. But, we're doing good on the declutter, I think. <laughs> like, yes, I still have a bunch. But we've gotten rid of a bunch too. So let me move you guys down to look at the bottom row and then we will finish off the declutter and I'll count up how many we're getting rid of. Alright, the last section here. Bunchies are probably gonna get moved up, I think. We will actually I'm gonna start with moving. No. Yes, no, yes, no. I don't know. This is the one section I don't know. What'd you do? Okay. Um we got my sugar pill. Um, this is the fun type palette. I really like this one. I'm going to keep it. I just got this. My sisters got it for me. It is the Sugar Pill Capsule Collection. And this is, I think, the second one. I am wearing that right now in my eyes. I have that shade, that shade, that shade on. And then I've been playing around with this a lot. I really like this palette. I'm going to keep it. I am debating on getting the other one that goes with this. But I'm not. I, I think I shouldn't, because <laughs> I'm supposed to be on a no buy, and yeah, I'm going to move these two anyways up top here, for now. Uh, next we have Milani Gilded Gold, this palette I really, sorry, this palette I really like, um, it reminds me of the Natasha Denona uh, gold palette, and there's no way I can buy a Natasha Denona. And I do really like this one. It's very, it's, it's a good palette. I like it. So I'm going to keep it. I'm going to put it up top. 
connect to the next. Uh, next is my only dose of color palette, and this is the Desi and Katie Francation palette. This palette I really enjoy. Again, I think that's also one of the ones from Rustic that replaces, like this has a bunch of things that like I'm replacing with other palettes and I really enjoy this one. So we're going to keep it. I'm going to move it up top. I'm staying up top. You guys can't see it, but that's what I'm just doing with it. Um, last one I'm going to move up top just to fill out that shelf is going to be the Blackman Cosmetics Orb of Light Full Moon Palette. I really love this palette. It is a good kind of grunge, purely matte toned neutralish palette but kind of more like grungy vibe i really love it i hope they come out with more of these i know they came out with the full metal one i was just considering it has so many metals pal like metal like metallics i said not to get that palette but i hope they come out with more of these because i really enjoy them so i'm gonna keep this it's just gonna go up top and now that shelf is full I'm just going to rearrange that. So the two weird shaped ones are staying next to each other. Alright, uh, back to the bottom. Or continue on the bottom. Let's see them here. These are the Ace Butte palettes. We have uh, Vintage D Vintage Dawn. Really love this palette. It's got some good tones in it. Really playing with this one. Uh, Scarlet Dusk is another kind of ready toned one, which I really enjoy. It's different than all the reds that I have from the ColourPop and stuff, which is why I really like it. It's even different from the Blood Sugar, so it's not like I'm repeating reds by keeping this one and the other red tone ones. Uh, Oceanic Palette. Oh my gosh, if there was a blue-green heaven, this is it. Like, this is the green, <laughs> the green, blue, <laughs> turquoise, teal love of my life palette. I am keeping this. I did just order blood sugar, but that's like a very different type of blue tone even compared to the one that like even just my luck isn't like like it's not the same. I think there's like one that might be the same. That's those two. But otherwise like this, they, they're very different. And I really like playing on this palette, so we are keeping this one. And then the Flare palette, again, gorgeous, very kind of folly tones, which are kind of where I kind of go towards with my makeup is wearing fall tones. I think that it looks best in my skin tone, and I just really like it. I was debating on getting the Lunar Beauty, um, kind of the Halloween palette, or the witch one that they have. And I realized that a bunch of their tones are kind of in here, and then around my, my collection. But I really like this Ace Butte one, so I'm going to keep all these. Uh, I think for the time being, they're going to stay on the bottom shelf. I have more palettes coming, but... Okay, I told myself I'm not going to be a collector anymore. I'm going to declutter. Here's on Sasha Beverly Hills. <laughs> so... Let's just get started. Um, Subculture, I love this one. I am not finding ways with this palette, even if this shade is kind of one of those, it seals over on itself ones. I really love this palette. It is great in my opinion. You can see I've done a good, I would say, you can see I've used it a bunch with these shades, but those shades are so easy to pick up. They always look like you've dug into them. But I really, really love this palette. So I'm not parting ways with Subculture. Another that I'm for sure not going to part ways with is the Jackie Ina palette. It is just unique and something that I really enjoy playing with and using. And I constantly am living in this family over here. Sometimes I do jump over here. I grab these a lot. It's like these and those guys. I do use these, but more on a rarer tone. But I love the whole palette as a whole. So not parting with the Jackie Ina. I'm just going to go with the ones I'm not parting ways with before I start going to the other ones. Soft Glam. Love it. I can always get a good look. You can do sultry in here or you can do a really soft, like, neutrally makeup look. Love it. Um, next is Modern Renaissance. Again, just a good, you can get good pops of colors or you can get, like, a really soft glam for look from this. It's kind of more on the warm tone. I really like that. I'm not going to get rid of that palette. Um, 
Norvina. We're going to hold on for a second on that one. Uh, Prism. I love this palette. I love Sphere. It's a great pop. Like, I can just use this entire palette a lot. I really enjoy this one. It was, uh, I think, a limited edition holiday one, but I really like using this one, especially in conjunction with Subculture. All right, now onto the ones I don't know about. Uh, Lisa Edwards, I'm going to part ways with. I said one I wasn't sure about. I'm sure about this. I don't reach for this at all. I feel like I have this. Like, I feel like these tones are kind of in the Jackie Ina. These ones I have in the press pigments, which I'll get to when I get there. And then I don't use the rest. So we're going to pass up on Alyssa Edwards. Uh, Riviera. Um, pretty. I do enjoy it. I got a lot of love out of this one. But I don't reach for it. It's very pretty. I did really enjoy it. But again, I don't reach for this. And I don't think I should be holding on to things that I'm not using. It's very wasteful. And yeah, so I'm going to pass up on the Riviera. It was great. I did love playing with it. But I don't reach for it enough to justify keeping it just sitting here doing nothing. <laughs> um, Sultry. I really enjoy this palette. It's a great one kind of more of that smokier tones but with a lot of pops to put in the inner corner when you're playing with the deeper shades. I really like this one to keep it. It is very similar though to the soft lamp. Um, Nervina. I use this a lot. Why am I like questioning? I'm like, do I want to keep this palette? I think the fact that I'm even questioning it is why I should maybe just pass away it pass up on it. I don't use it. Like, it's pretty. Like, don't get me wrong. I really like this. But as Narina has a lot of shades that they double up on in palettes, I could create all these looks in those other five palettes. Six palettes. Pretty cluttering it. Alright. Uh, Narvina Volume 2, this, these are different formulas than these palettes from Anastasia. They're pressed pigments. I really like using these for creative looks. Um, these are kind of similar to the Oceanic palette from Ace Beauté. But I, if I'm going to use creative, I go with these palettes because they just have like all the colors that I kind of want to go with. So I'm not going to get rid of these. I really like them, plus they were hella expensive but yeah so these are staying and next we head into my Jeffree Star palettes so we start with the actual Jeffree Star ones before we get into the Morphe um, so we have blood sugar here I did declutter them and they're in Colourpuff <laughs> they are Jeffree Star though <laughs> so here is the blood sugar palette so as I said it's very similar to like Ace Boutique kind of like looks like this down here but like more of just this and then it's got like others. The red palette doesn't have like this. I really like this palette. It's a good palette overall to use. My white did break, which you can see kind of all over my palette when I decluttered it. Or not decluttered, depopped it into this. I just did it so it conserves space. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the Conspiracy palette and the Blue Blood palette. I do have um, empty palettes coming to put those in just so that way it's thinner and easier to store in here. Versus I have a palette that's like this thick sitting in there. That's taking up way too much space. So I do depot them, but I do keep them. Um, next we have the Alien palette, again, in the Colourpop thing. I put on this one, I don't know why I didn't do it in Blood Sugar. I put the names up top here. I need to redo this piece. Uh, this palette was for the longest time really, really broke until I got um, Moon Moose. I don't know if it's cruelty free the Moon Moose, but I was getting so tired of this palette constantly breaking, and I love this palette. Alien is one of my favorite palettes from Jeffree Star, and just in general, I really, really, really love this palette. I can always get a really good look out of it. Um, they still perform pretty good, these um, three shades that pretty much shattered on me when I depotted it, but I really like it. You can kind of see the depot tint goes so smoothly. A lot of the pans are kind of bent, 
but it was it turned into a limited edition palette and it's no longer on the market. And I was really considering repurchasing this palette, so I didn't have a broken one. This is before I got Moon Moose. And then just cutting out the eyes, because that was what was bothering me on the original palette, because I didn't want something being weird to store. <laughs> um that what's on the cover of Thirsty, something that got in there, probably from Alien, knowing it was Alien. Uh, this is their palette, it is, was their summer palette. I do really enjoy this palette. I, I say this as I never use this row. I never use this row at all. This is kind of more or less from Blood Sugar. I'm going to declutter this one. We're going to get rid of Thirsty. I don't use this much bro at all. There's no point of keeping this when I don't use half, like a third of the shades. So I'm gonna get rid of Thirsty. Um, this is not going anywhere. I'm just gonna show you guys it. It's the Maybreaker palette. Oh, I love this palette. It's a great palette. I really, 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 really love this mini palette. <laughs> so it is staying. Uh, next is Jawbreaker, which is I think next to the Anastasia Vera Hills Narvina palettes, my most expensive palette. Um, but it's got pretty much every tone that you kind of want to play with, and any that I don't have or praying ways with, this kind of makes up for all of those tones. So yeah, not praying with this. And then, as I said, I have Conspiracy coming. I have the Controversy, Mini Controversy, and Blue Blood. I'm going to depot those into these kind of palettes so they kind of fit in here. And then next we have the last palettes, which are my Morphe palettes. Um, so the reason I kind of keep it Morphe next to Jeffree Star is because this palette. <laughs> it kind of goes this, and then it goes Jackie, and then it goes what I keep from others. So this palette, um, I really like the greens in. I really like these ones. Do not use this, this glitter at all. This glitter I hate. I can take over it. I can get rid of it, and that's great. And it's because I'm allergic to it. It literally, I, I just feel like I'm it's on fire if I use that shade. As long as I don't touch it, it's fine and it's great. And I do like the palette. I use a good majority of these. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, next is the Jaclyn Hill Volt palette. I don't have any problems with my volts. My volts work fine for me. I'm just going to go through them just to see what maybe I can get rid of. Um... So I'm going to try not to collect things anymore. Um, I'm going to get rid of Bling Boss. I don't use it. The tones just aren't really something that gravitate towards me. I don't really have any like creative juices sparked when I look at this palette. So I'm going to perhaps waste a bit. Uh, Ring the Alarm. I said that to the side for a second. Um, this one I'm going to keep. It's just... Black Magic, it's a good grunge tone. And you can tell I really like grunge. So, grunge is he keeping. I'm also going to have them. Speaking of this, I'm just saying grunge because I just thought of it. Um, I'm getting some Milk Cosmetics palettes. And one of them is the Rust palette. And I don't like grunge, rust, just call me. So, that's staying. Uh, next, we have this palette. I'm going to keep this one. This is the Armed and Gorgeous. Uh, kind of similar to the Oma Beauty one that is up here. The This one. Kind of similar but different. But I'm going to keep it because it's kind of my tones. I really like those. Ring the alarm. I'm going to pass words with this. It's great, but this here is the Birds of Paradise. Like if I just pull this out again, I just get the same vibes, and I'm gonna keep this one. But I don't need that one. That's okay, because this is not that much. Okay, um, the original Jaclyn Hill palette. They don't have this formula anymore, but I love this palette. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Keeping it, keeping it, keeping it. Uh, I already mentioned this one. It's Jaclyn Hill 2. Really enjoy it so far. Been having fun with it. It's a different formula than the original. It's also a different formula than half of the vault collection. 
which I know a lot of people had issues with their vault fashion. I did not, but that's that. Uh, this is the Morphe Boss Mood palette, which, no surprise, is green <laughs> and grunge. I love this palette. Like, I, I really enjoy playing it. This palette, I find it a lot of fun. I keep the, sh the names up here like this, so it's, as I look down, they line up this way, and it keeps it like that. So I can see that this palette, this shade is right light of the party versus if it was sitting up down the bottom, they flip. So yeah. I like this palette and keep it. And then we have the palette I decluttered, regretted, had my sister get me. It's the James Chalet James Charles palette from Morphe. I really like this palette. I wasn't sure what I thought about James, and I got rid of it, and then I, I didn't have any spot to store it, and then I switched to kind of this bookshelf type thing, and I moved this shelf up higher than normally you would have the shelves. You normally keep this one down one lower, but if I put one up higher, this palette work fits in perfectly, and it's just a great colored palette. It's a good formula. It's great to use. You can tell this one's new. <laughs> My old one used to have the names written on it. I still have the sheet. I'm probably I need to get a new Sharpie so I can write down below. Um, but this is a good palette if you're doing creative looks and need colors. If you also want neutrals and you want like one palette to travel with. I know they have the mini mini version, which has a mirror in it. I wish the big one had a mirror in it and the names were written on the thing, but that's alright. Let me keep this palette. I do like it a lot. Alright, so let me go back to my desk. We'll count up what we're getting rid of and kind of wrap up over there. <laughs> but here is the look of the bookshelf. We have a massive gap here, and there's still a gap here too for more color pop that my sister is getting me. Because she's getting me more. It's already ordered. I'm just waiting for quarantine to be done and then they'll be shipping it. But yeah. I think even with what I have coming in, this is still going to have gaps. So I'm kind of proud of myself. So I'm going to go over to the desk and we'll wrap up. Alright, we're back at the desk. We got three stacks of palettes. I'll show you guys each of them here, real quick. So one, two, and a three. Alright, in the counts, we have 20, 27, 27, 27 palettes that I'm decluttering. Feels good to get rid of these, granted I have some more coming in, which is, you know, going through a quarantine and doing some online shopping. And then you gotta wait months for it to arrive, which is, which is fine. And good. I'm glad companies are keeping their employees safe and out of where they might be getting the virus because no one needs to go through and deal with that. Um, yeah, I don't use any of these palettes. The ones that we're decluttering, I feel really good about getting rid of them. I look at them, some of them, I'm like, I've, I've had that for so long, I need to keep it. But that's that's the reason why I need to do the clutter because I don't use any of these. I'm just holding on to it because, like this one, I'm like, I have the other two palettes from this collection. I should keep these two. And then I'm like, that is why we had too many palettes. <laughs> We're not using them all. And a lot of these are like, my sister got them for me, or I saw a limited edition, and then I bought them, and I never used them again. Because I just got them to collect. But I rather have things that I'm using and I'm inspired to use and like actually get enjoyment out of. So these need to go. And my sister hoards makeup just as much as I do. I'm not even gonna give her the option to take these this time because I know half of these she has. Or I know she's just gonna keep them all and then I'm gonna get yelled at by my mom if I go visit them when the quarantine's done. Because she'll see this and go, what did you do? Why did you give that to her? She has enough that she's not using. Which is my problem too. But she knows I use my makeup, so yeah, whatever. Um, let me ask you guys what I know. See next on the YouTubes. 
or on my blog. My blog is in kind of weird state with my YouTube at the moment where I'm inspired to do something for both and have no ideas what to do for both. I don't know why. I'm in a weird stump, stumperoo, where I want to do something, but I don't know what to do. So if you have ideas, let me know, because I would seriously appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to do with these pallets, because I can't donate any of these, because they are way too used to donate. And my friends live in other states and don't wear makeup, so I can't really send these to anyone. So probably going to go in the trash, which I feel bad about, but... It is what it is. They're used, they're loved, which is what makeup should be. It's used and loved. I think a few of these I can donate because I haven't touched them. I think it's like four or five of these. I just gotta look at what friends those are and I'll find somewhere to donate them when the quarantine's done. But yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a little thumbs up. Subscribe to the Howl Pack and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!